Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the Easter weekend and week ahead brought to you exclusively by Fly Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and um, not a bad start actually to the Easter weekend. There's going to be a few showers, there'll be some low cloud around particularly in western areas and I think through the channel an area of fog which could be bringing some poor visibility. Things becoming more mixed though after uh, Sunday and um, probably looking at a few showers into next week. Now still got a few places left on my Aviation Weather School Part 1 course which is going to be taking place on the consecutive Saturday mornings of the 14th and the 21st of May between 09.30 and 12.30 hours. This course presented entirely live online by me and um, it really is great fun. You'll be learning how to plan ahead up to five days being able to spot weather windows what i try and do is build your confidence and your own ability to make forecasts yourselves and interpret those that you're seeing from uh, official sources as well and what it does really it, it's ppl met made understandable the stuff that you really need to know go and have a look at weatherschool.co.uk and see what other pilots have said just under the review section here you can book your place by going to aviation click on aviation weather school live online course and then down the right hand side of the screen here you can see that you can book your place securely there It'd be great to see you there so that's on the saturday mornings of the 14th and 21st of may now don't forget as well you can get your free weekend forecast email update that i send out on a thursday or a friday this is completely free of charge you don't get any spam you don't get any rubbish this is just so i can update you on the weekend forecast to go onto that list and uh, i think we've got over 2,000 pilots on it now if you go to um, send a blank email to the address you see on the screen there aviation weather hyphen subscribe at weatherweb.net then we can get you added onto that list okay then this is how things shape up then through thursday generally generally flyable increasing cloud out in the west i think some low cloud affecting western parts of ireland leading to non-vfr conditions here but for most areas it looks as if it is going to be a decent afternoon for good friday bit of a mess really i think some mist and some murk around during the course of friday that's slowly lifting quite a hazy day generally it is flyable for most of us but could go marginal at times in that haze and also in any showers that develop in the afternoon across southern and eastern parts of England. Typical bases, two to 4,000 feet. Tops about 12,000 feet in those showers. So just watch out for that. Western coasts and hills, bit of a mess here. Non to marginal, I'm going to say, just because of the amount of cloud, bits of showers, poor visibility overall. So yeah, not that great further west. Now for uh, Saturday, um, we're looking at conditions on Saturday probably tending to become um not bad i mean yeah we're looking at uh, a front that just gets itself into western parts of scotland here probably marginal but i think um some rain across western ireland but otherwise for most areas it's looking okay again maybe some mr murk first thing but i think generally for most of us looking okay three thousand foot bases six to eight thousand foot tops generally although western scotland a thousand foot basis ten thousand foot tops on to sunday more of a mess on sunday <laughs> this is cloud and i think bits of showers for northern england for wales and for southwest england huge question mark over this though the detail looks marginal out towards the west watch the forecast carefully for this reduced visibility quite hazy I think two to four thousand foot bases tops about ten thousand feet over island becoming non verifiable as this front moves in bringing showery outbreaks of rain perhaps marginal in the east at times across east Anglia in the southeast generally verifiable three to four thousand foot bases seven thousand foot tops and probably flyable in northwestern scotland as well so easter day itself bit of a mess want to be watching that forecast very carefully and then um bank holiday monday now again big question mark i am not convinced this is how this is going to look i think there will be low pressure around i think it'll be out towards the west so ireland wales perhaps southwest england here marginal to non-vfr but like i say don't be surprised if this doesn't change two to four thousand foot bases eight thousand foot tops eastern coast of scotland and england probably marginal because of the strength of the wind 
Further west, looking generally flyable, three to 5,000 foot bases, 8,000 foot tops. As I say, I'm just not convinced this is how this is going to look. Remember, I'm going to be updating uh, with the flyer seam live at 7.30 uh, on Thursday night tonight. So you could check back then to get this update. And as I said to you, get that weekend forecast email update uh, sent out to you as well. Send that blank email just to remind you to the address that you see on the screen there, aviationweather-subscribe at weatherweb.net, and I can get an update out to you. Now, Tuesday, looks like low pressure goes off towards the south. It looks like we get into an east and northeasterly. Again, I'm not convinced about this, but I do think western areas fare best. I think eastern areas seeing some showers coming in at times. Much uncertainty on this one. It could be quite breezy. And then Wednesday, still with that northeasterly, Eastern areas tending to fare worse because of areas of rain. So non to marginal VFR at times. Perhaps some local stuff will be possible. Again, big question mark over this. 3,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. Out west, looking much better. Bases of around 4,000 feet tops at about 10,000 feet. And fairly breezy too, but looks generally fireable. But I think what I want to emphasise to you is how uncertain I am about that forecast from Sunday onwards. Like I say, I'll update you with the flyer team tonight um, at 7.30, and we'll have the very latest then. And of course, I'll send you that weekend forecast email as well. Um, I don't like being uncertain, but I think it's important that I say to you, I'm not sure what's going on, rather than kind of have a punt at the forecast that I know that's not going to uh, turn out correct. Don't forget to be making forecasts yourself, and, and this is perfect actually. You could be looking at the charts yourself now and making those adjustments to fit in with your flying this weekend. And that's what we do at Aviation Weather School. If you want to be able to do that, go to weatherschool.co.uk, book your place now on my course on the consecutive Saturday mornings of the 14th and the 21st of May between 09.30 and 12.30 hours from the comfort of your own home, from the office, from the car, on holiday, wherever you might be, because this is a course that's presented entirely live online by me and you can watch it wherever you are. And also, if you can't manage the session or if you want to go back over anything you might have missed, um, I let you have a recording of the session for up to a week afterwards so you can just go back and watch whatever you've missed. So yeah, go to weatherschool.co.uk now. That's what you're going to see. Come down to Aviation, click on Aviation Weather School Part 1 live online course and you can book your place now. Okay. I will leave you that for now. Remember, I'll see you at 7.30 tonight with the Flyer team. Uh, but whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.